our special guest. Hello. Aiden Gold. There's Aiden. Thanks, Aiden. And uh, Mr. Haas, of course. Yeah, Mr. Haas. Thank you. <laughs> so, we just, we're talking about uh, first derivatives and getting information from first derivatives to, to uh, figure out things about the function. We don't want the second derivative to feel left out, no, do we? No, we don't. What does, Aiden, what does second derivative tell us about an original function? Well, second derivative would tell us about the concavity of Con the original concavity. function. Fantastic. So when the second derivative is positive, we have a concave, concave up. up. My original function would be concave up. When the second derivative is negative, concave down. my original function would be concave down. How about when the second derivative is zero or undefined? It is potentially an inflection, an inflection point, but not for sure. Okay, so I'm going to say what Mr. Haas was saying I'll about say the first it, derivative. The y value of the second derivative tells me about the concavity of the original function. Let's say it again. The y value of the second derivative tells me about the concavity of the original function. So. Tell me about the y value right here. Is it in positive zone or negative zone? Positive. Positive. How about the pot over here? Positive zone oh, or positive. negative zone? Positive. Wait a minute, but isn't that going downhill? Is that? OK, don't look at the slope. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm that sorry. That would give me the third right. derivative. Right, I'm sorry. We're not talking about the I just looked at, am I above the x-axis or below the x-axis? Above x -axis? the uh, x-axis, okay. below the x-axis. What's, yeah. what's happening here? Here, uh, it would be undefined. Oh. It would be right. undefined. So that is a potential inflection. inflection point. And let's say what we said last time, too. We're just assuming for our purposes that our function is defined for all real numbers, for all these. OK? All right. So I know my function is concave up. I'm just going to do a little u. Just to remind us what just concave up looks like that. OK, got it. Like that. Over, over here, I don't know what's happening. Over here, it's concave up again. So hold on. An inflection point is a change in co concavity, right? Mm -hmm. Aiden, did any concavity change here? No. Not so not. What, can I what can I conclude? Are there any inflection points? No. OK, so there are no inflection points. So, you know, when we did the first derivative business, as soon as we found a place where the first derivative was zero or undefined, those were guaranteed critical points. Those were guaranteed. Guaranteed. But for inflection points, we have to do this additional little test. Right. Does the concavity change from one side to the other? Exactly. Got it. Because there are some functions where you have a place where the second derivative is zero or undefined where the concavity doesn't change. All right. Here we go. Should we do this again here? All so right. again, this guy is the second derivative. It's not the function. So we're going to say it again. The y, the y value. value of the second derivative, all together now, is, is the, the concavity, concavity of, the of the original function. I hope you're saying this back I'm, at home. I'm saying it. Oh, oh we back got, at home. OK, at home, right. OK, so let's look for potential inflection points. Where could I have some potential inflection points for my function? Shriek when I get there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh! Ah. ah! Okay, those are three potential inflection points. Why? Because my second derivative is zero, right? Okay, here we go. Y value, oh, should I do your little dash that lines? Doesn't, yeah, you're that's doesn't I like I the like dash, I like dash that. lines, but you know. Okay, so we'll do Mr. Haas's fun little, he's just setting this up into different regions. Okay, so in this region, my second derivative has Y value that's positive or negative? Negative. Negative, negative. it's down here. Okay, in this region, my second derivative negative is again. positive region or negative region? Negative. Negative. In this region, positive or negative? Negative. Oh my gosh, all this negativity. In this region, <laughs> Posi positive. Positivity. Yay. OK, so let's draw a little picture of f of x's concavity. OK, concave down, concave down, concave down. So, Mr. Ah, concave up, ah. lost. 
at last. Yes, Mr. So, Ross. you know, these little concave up down things, I was about, I'm not really, you're not really drawing a picture of the original no. function like you did if you had the first derivative. This is just roughly what the concavity looks just like. Just reminding us, hey, it's concave down, it looks like a upside down U, it's concave up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, with the first derivative, you can kind of get a sense of what the function might look like We're a little more. We're doing a pretty more. nice sketch of the first, uh, nice the, of the uh, original here function. Here I'm just getting my yeah. concavity. Okay. Okay, so here I go. Again, these were potential inflection points. Now I'm going to see if they're really inflection points. Was there a change in concavity? No. No. Change in concavity here? No. No. Change in concavity? No. Nope. Yes. yes. Oh, the last one. Yes. yes. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Last one. Yes. So this is the only inflection point. Of so I just got like lulled into you know that pattern there. Yes, of course. <laughs> So really, that second derivative has to cross the x-axis, really. I mean, it to has change to signs. Cross the x-axis, right. yeah, mm. to change signs. Gotcha. Very nice. You know, the other the other thing that I notice students will often do incorrectly yeah. is they will show me where that second derivative has a slope of zero. If I ask for mm. inflection points, or even on the first derivative, they'll they'll mark like the minimum points or something. Right. Don't right, do right. that. <laughs> Stop doing that out Again. there. Again. Just keep saying to yourself, you're looking for the y value. The y value is 0. The y value is 0. The y value is 0. That means the second derivative is 0. Right. So when yeah. you're looking at a first derivative or a second derivative, same deal. Look at the y value. Is it positive or negative? Don't look at the slope. Look right. at the y value. You got, got it. it. All right. Last one. Last ah, one. Piece of cake. Hey, I'm seeing something cross the x-axis. I'm thinking we're going to have an inflection point here. Absolutely. That's pretty exciting. All right, so here we go. This is the second derivative. The second derivative equals zero right there. That means it's a potential inflection point. So uh, we'll do your little boom. I like that. So in this region, is my second derivative positive or negative? Oh, that's positive. It's in the positive y value zone. Okay, in this region, does my second derivative have a positive value or a negative value? That's negative. Negative. Ah, that means my original function is going to be concave up in this zone and concave down in this zone. There we go. That gives us an inflection point. And we would say at x equals whatever that is. Sure. Negative whatever. Right? Got it. Excellent. Thanks, Ms. Stewart. Thank you, Mr. Haas.